Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. A little quick Friday night update for you guys. Doesn't doesn't really look like I got much done tonight, but um, actually I got quite a bit done. Uh, all the seam sealer that I can get at, that I can see, I cleaned all that out. It all came out so easily. It was actually all dry, and it came right out. I took this plug out and. Pretty much any of the last little plugs that were left in the thing and any bolts or screws that were left. I got a couple of clips here. A couple of clips here I got to take out yet. There's one here. Uh, one down there. Um, that thing there, this hole here. There was a nut in there. Bolt weld busted or the bolt busted off in it. Looks like a long time ago. And I tried to drill it out, and it kept breaking drill bits inside of it. So I kind of screwed myself. So I took a rotor brooch, just drilled a bigger hole. I haven't decided what I'm going to do there yet. I think I'll probably just end up doing a bolt um, with some sealant. These will all have to get sealant anyways because they're to the inside. So uh, no big deal. It's for the battery tray. Um, not a big deal. Um, another cover. Blew the inside of the cowl all out, and good lord, that was gross. Um, but yeah, just sealer, and then all the gook from around the windows. Actually, just the windshield and the side, the quarter glass. Um, let me roll this thing down a little bit. All that gook. This is the you know, that body sealer. That actually, surprisingly, a lot of this was actually really pretty soft yet pretty gummy but I cleaned it out the best I could all the way around I did find a rust hole in the roof which kind of kind of bums me out but um I'll show you here I'll spin test you a little bit here and show you yeah little hole in the roof I kind of knew once I started cleaning the seam sear out you know, even these spots here look a little bit suspect. But, um, I'm not going to panic. This isn't, this car is not intended to be a show car. Um, but it'll look nice. I mean, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. You know, there's spots all over that got to be patched. I kind of threw that filler panel in there to see what that looked like, and that fits pretty good. That's... As of right now, other than the floor, that's the only piece of aftermarket sheet metal on the car. I might have to try and find <clears throat> these corners. They look pretty rough. But, um, yeah, if I get a shrinker stretcher like Chevaholics got, maybe I can build something. This seam I'm going to eliminate anyways, so I don't really care about that. But, um, yeah, yeah, overall, though, I think it's still worth saving. I talked to the guy with the 57 wagon today, and, um, he is not actually willing to sell the whole car, which I guess is good and bad. I guess that means I'm not going to spend it. Any money hauling, paying somebody to haul it. Um, but he said he would sell some wagon only parts out of it. Because um, he has a 57 sedan that he wants to keep the dash and front trim and you know that kind of thing for it, which that's cool. So, um, told me I could come get the back seat for a fair price. Um, maybe there's a rear bumper on it. I don't know if a 57 rear bumper is the same as a 56, but I'm betting the center section is, um, and that's all I'm really after, so that'd be cool. Um, I could put, I think I could put a sedan bumper on it, but then I would have to figure out where I'm going to put a plate. Uh, 
maybe I'll French it into the gate. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll have to look at the car. Not this weekend, but next weekend, Saturday after Thanksgiving, I'm going to go take a look at the car and bring some tools and a torch and a hacksaw and a sawzall and um, take that one apart and see what I can get out of it. Um, I know there's no glass in it, but maybe the seals will be good. Um, I could maybe uh, grab these couple seals that go in here. And some of the hardware that goes in here, there's like clips. I don't know, we'll see. But um, overall, I guess not really a ton of progress tonight, but I've uh, been out here for. I don't know, a couple hours. Let's see here what time it even is. It's 10 o'clock. So my clock's a half hour fast. Um, it's been only like three hours. Just screwing around. And I mean, all that shit that's on the floor has all come out of the car. You know, there's patches all over the place. But it's interesting to see how these were painted at the factory where they did not at all get fussy um, about things and I'm curious to what color was sprayed first it actually looks like the dash was sprayed last that's kind of neat but um yeah the red oxide primer it's kind of neat too so, alright, nothing real crazy tonight. Getting kind of tired. Um, I'm going to head in the house, grab a shower. And uh, call her a day. I don't know if I'll be out here at all tomorrow or not. Um, getting two nights in a row out here with a new baby is um, pretty awesome. So I'm not going to push my luck. Tomorrow will be a uh, play with the kids day. Some housework do a dump run, whatever, you know, but, um, but otherwise, I'm happy so far, I've actually been working on it, and, uh, you know, I've been panicking about, well, not panicking, but concerned about, um, doing the sandblasting, and, you know, I guess I gotta just get over it, um, I can strip 50% of this car with an electric grinder, slowly, you know, with a big disc, I was going to do the quarters and the roof that way anyhow, so realistically, you know, what's stopping me from getting the roof, or at least the quarters stripped and body worked and primed, and then uh, I can spot blast, I can do the blasting after the fact, and just be careful and then give the whole car another coat. Um, I do my little patching here and there and whatever that I can see now. I'm sure there's going to be more patching after I blast. That's just how it is. But um, unless I happen to get a really nice weekend in December, I don't think this isn't going to see the sandblaster until spring now. Which, whatever, that's fine. I got, I'll got i get a frame and get that going and get that painted and put back together. and That'll be awesome too. So... All right, that's enough. I'm ready to go in. So have a good weekend, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.